you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, thanks for dropping in. Welcome to the channel. Um, I'm Rick and uh, yeah, I'm still around. <laughs> I've just been really busy uh, over the last few weeks, um, basically jacking in my career after 30 years and moving out of London. So sorting out property down there, getting rid of a lodger, uh, also helping out relatives that aren't well. So life has been pretty hectic. Uh, over the last few weeks that's why I've not been doing much um, probably won't be doing too much over the next few weeks uh, as much as I normally do um, but I've still got a few things lined up um, as you can see I've treated myself to a Touratech headlight grill made of black anodized aluminium um, it does specify for off-road use only but uh, yeah people still use them on the road anyway um, I'm not endorsing that um, I'm just saying um, uh, these are made for off-road use um, black anodized aluminium nicely cut and the reason why I bought it is because for those of you that own the OEM well, KTM headlight protector it's bolted on and when you want to clean it from behind you literally have to try and get a rag behind it try and you know do that kind of movement and you never get everything off I mean for those of you that do only use your bike on a Sunday and get caught in the rain. You may very well say, yeah, I can clean it easy enough. But for people like me that take it off road and get it absolutely plastered, you cannot clean the damn thing unless you take it off. So it means taking this plastic off, accessing the bolts, which means most often than not, more often than not, removing the windscreen. So you can actually get to the bolts, taking the two bolts out, unscrewing the bolts at the bottom, taking the uh, screen protector off, uh, headlight protector, and then cleaning it properly from behind and cleaning the light unit. And then doing all the same in reverse to put it back on, only to have to do it all over again when it gets filthy. It's not very practical. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass if, 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 if you ask me, uh, but it's a nice looking headlight guard. Um, and I've still got it. And it will let out more light than this one, obviously. Um, however, for the time being, I'm running with this because it looks really nice uh, and I can clean the light easily. Watch this. So it literally pops off, unhooks, bang. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Put it back on. Position the uh, clip so you can get it back in. Clips in. Clips in, and then you, and you can position it with these little little uh, connectors to make sure it's not wobbly. There you go, job done. I'll show you a close up. Right, as you can see, it's got the old Touratech logo. It is just clipped into these things down here, which just pop off, clip back in. And if if, the, if this is wobbling, you can adjust 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 this. So it, it has a bit more tension to it. Just pull it tight. As long as you've got clearance, uh, all's good. And it's really really light, and it really does look nice. It looks more aggressive. Now that's cost me 129 pounds uh, from an eBay seller. Um, I think there was a bit more of a wait if I bought it from Touratech Direct. Uh, either way, I don't think there would be much in it. Um, now, some of you who are regular viewers of the channel uh, are probably wondering why has he got the handguards covered up? And why has he got those stock wing mirrors back on um, after he was kind of like boasting about the Bark Busters looking cool and the CRG quick flip mirrors, which I still have. Yeah, these things. However, I'm working on the next video, uh, which for some of you that like cool looking things, this, this one is just going to blow your mind. Uh, so until I've finished it, um, I'm keeping everything under wraps. Um, I did put a little bit of a preview 
post out uh, about a week ago, um, but I was getting quite a few questions back. Where do you get this? How do you do this? Uh, on on Facebook Messenger saying uh, any information. On, uh, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, I thought it was best to pull that post off line, get the job done, and then just stick a video out on it uh, with all the information. Um, but it is really going to be really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't wait till it's finished. Um, and yes, I did say to, to myself a while back, this is it, everything's done, there's nothing else I need. Uh, and as usual, there's always something that catches my eye. Um, so yeah, there's something going on here, something going on here, there and everywhere, and it's going to be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, if you've got a 1290 Super Adventure, um, it may be something that you, be, you will be interested in, or maybe not. Um, but uh, nevertheless, it's happening. And uh, I would have had it done sooner had I not have buggered it up. Or well, can I say that on YouTube? Um, had I not messed it up. Um, so now it's a second attempt. Um, but anyway, quick one. Headlight guard, Touratech. Looks cool, very light, easy to wash your headlight, and uh, mm, I'm thinking of getting, I'm, I am thinking of getting the clear one as well, because uh, once you've got the attachments in, you can just uh, change these as and when, because they do a clear plastic one similar to the stock headlight unit, uh, which is a complete plastic cover. Um, the only downside I think to having one of these before I end this is. All the road particulates that get sandblasted off the road um, this still won't protect the lens of the headlight from becoming cloudy over time because of all the sand and grit that gets blown from the vehicles in front or you know just the wind and you traveling at how you know however fast you're traveling it will eventually affect as as it does with all uh, headlight units it will catch up with you and still uh, have its toll on the actual lens of the light. This thing just looks really nice and I suppose as it states for off-road use only um, you're not going to be going that fast and probably not all that often. Um, it really is just to protect from the odd branch or something like that. The clear ones are still the best ones overall uh, for long-term use uh, particularly on roads uh, which I've still got. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing with that one, but hey, just thought I'd share that. Uh, I'm trying to beef this bike up. Um, not that it needs beefing up anymore, but uh, yeah, I think that really looks nice. A nice touch. Um, apart from that, uh, next video uh, hopefully will be in about a week's time, providing I've done everything correctly, and it will look really, really cool. Um, and hopefully the weather's good, so I can start getting out. Um, I've not been able to do anything successfully on a review on the uh, auxiliary lights just yet. I have tried a couple of times and failed miserably um, because the cameras don't really do it justice. But uh, yeah, that's another story. Before I waffle on, uh, I'll see you guys soon and uh, I'll leave it at that.